Hey guys, this is Justin. Um, I'm going to show you uh, kind of a walkthrough for using your Arduinos for the first time. Um, I have this split screen thing going on here so that you can see both my face and my nice little headset that is the best microphone I have, uh, as well as the Arduino environment over on this side uh, where I'll be doing the programming. So, um, first things first, this, as you can you already know is an Arduino. Uh, it's an open source microcontroller platform. Um, this particular model is the Arduino Uno. Uh, has kind of a, the figure eight pattern on it. Um, this is the one that I gave you, so you guys should have one of these. Um, I'm not going to use this one today. I'm going to use uh, this one, which is an older model, but it'll work for us. It, older model with uh, Italy on the back like they all used to have. So this is only about a year or two old, um, and it's about the same thing. It just might look a little bit different. I figure I should show you that. Um, the useful thing about these is that you can program them uh, to do basically whatever you want. So there's input and output pins all along the sides here, uh, and you can plug various electronic components into them and uh, make it do basically whatever you want. So input, output, whatever. Um, one of the more useful things to do with these is to buy what's called a shield, um, which is just a, a board with components already uh, attached to it. And this is really useful for um, attaching to, let me do it here, it actually uh, attaches right on to the top of an Arduino. It's made to fit perfectly here. Um, to give it extra fu functionality, um, usually a special purpose, this particular shield is meant to control three motors that can be used in a uh, CNC setup. So for less than $100 worth of electronics here, you can have, it, it's, it's basically all the electronics that's needed for what was previously and still is in, in many cases, several thousand dollars worth of um, CNC factory automation equipment right here less than a hundred bucks. So that's why these things are so cool. Um, I'm just going to take that off. So the first thing you need to know is how to plug in your Arduino. Really simple. You have a USB cable. This is the same type of cable that you know a home printer might be plugged into. Um, you're going to want to take this end, the side that looks like that, and plug it right there in the Arduino. So, And when you do so, you'll see that a light comes on. Uh, I'll turn my light off here so you can see it better. But you'll see that there's a green light on there now. Uh, that indicates that this has power. USB is a, it, it's an electronics protocol that says it's going to supply 5 volts of DC power to this. So 5 volt DC, that's important. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to write our first program. So. Uh, if we go over to the Arduino environment, we should actually probably set up to make sure that we're working correctly. Now you guys are going to want to go to Tools, Board, and you're going to want to make sure Arduino Uno is selected here, the first one in the list. Um, that's what you guys want. I don't want that. I want the second one in the list because I'm using my older board. So you guys will select the first one. Ignore the fact that I'm selecting the second one. Um, after that, you're going to want to go back to Tools and go to Serial Port and make sure you have the correct serial port um, set up. Depending on your operating system, it's going to be different. It's going to say something different, and uh, I'm not really going to be able to help you because it's going to be different on everyone's computer. Um, just uh, follow the instructions and some of the links I send and make sure that you have a serial port selected. Once you have that ready, your Arduino is now ready to program. So. Let's write our first program. Uh, this is just a kind of a re recreation of the example program that you can find right here inside of examples, basics, blink. I'm just going to write it by hand to show you what it does. Um, first thing is that there's two parts uh, to every Arduino, Arduino program. There is the setup and then there is the loop. So let me explain how this works. I type void setup open and close parentheses, open bracket, close bracket, and uh, this is what in programming is called a function or a method. Uh, it's basically just a, a chunk of executable code that can be called. This setup will be called immediately when the Arduino receives power and starts running its program. It will be called exactly once, 
So it's used to set up things that the Arduino is going to need to know for the rest of its run. So in this case, I'm going to set pin mode on pin 13 to output. So what that does is it takes pin 13 on the Arduino, which is right over here. Hard to read that. Um, and it sets it for output. So I could use it as input, but instead I'm going to use it as output, uh, which means I'm going to set the voltage on it rather than read the voltage from it. So that's all we need in our setup program. The next uh, function that we have to write is loop. So we do void loop, same empty uh, uh, parentheses, and then this is a curly bracket. You'll find it kind of at the top right of your keyboard if you're wondering what this character is. Um, you'll see this a lot in, in computer programming. Uh, most languages use these curly braces to kind of uh, know where things start and end. So for a guy like me, I'm used to it. Sorry if I'm not explaining it too well, but uh, just need to know that you ha have to have them there. Um, in addition, you also, at the end of every one of your lines of executable code, you need to have a semicolon, which you can find kind of under your pinky key, under your pinky finger on the home row, if you guys uh, have taken typing classes. But anyways, I digress. Uh, we, let's get back to writing our loop. Um, this loop function is something that's going to repeat over and over and over again until the Arduino loses power. So this runs once up here in setup and this runs continually again and again. So whatever you put in here is going to run, and as soon as it's done, it's going to start running it again. And as soon as that's done, it runs it again. So you kind of have to think about what that's going to do. Um, what we're going to do here is we're just going to try to make uh, one of these LEDs, the little lights on here, blink on and off. Um, so we've already decided that's pin 13, which has an LED uh, already attached to it on the Arduino board, so we don't even need an extra component to plug in here. Um, and the command we use to, to say the output to that pin is called digital write. And you'll see it turns a different color when you type in a command that you can use. So um, digital write, and I'm going to say pin 13, and I'm going to say hi. The two options on a digital write are, is that you can write high and you can write low. And I'll, I'll show you that here, too. Um, after that, I'm going to delay for half a second. Delay 500. So what this delay does is it says, uh, do nothing for 500 milliseconds. And a millisecond is 1,000th thousandth of a second. So there's 1,000 milliseconds in a second. So 500 milliseconds would be half a second. Um, so what this is going to do is it's going to write high, and it's going to turn on the LED, and then it's going to sit there for 500 milliseconds, and then it's going to go to the beginning of the loop where it just writes high again. So you'll notice this won't blink. This is telling it to write high and never write low. So it's always on, nothing ever turns it off. So that's where I go to the next line. I'm going to say digital write 13 low. Um, and that's going to turn it off. However, you'll notice that as soon as it turns it off, the next thing it's going to do is go back to the top of this loop and turn it high. So you won't ever actually see it be off. It'll happen too fast. So I'm going to add another delay of 500 milliseconds. Um, this is a good Arduino program. And if you want to check to see if it's a good Arduino program, you go to this button up here uh, on the top left that's called Verify. You click that, and you'll see it'll compile your sketch. It'll say compiling your sketch, then it'll say done compiling. And if you have any errors, it'll tell you about it here. And then you have to go through your code and check to make sure there's no errors. Luckily, it looks like I did things correctly. Um, after you have this, this code compiled, you now upload it to the Arduino. And you do this by clicking this upload button right next to the verify button. It'll actually go and recompile it and verify it again. But the other thing it'll do is it'll upload it to the Arduino board. Uh, as it's doing so, there's some lights around here that'll flash. Uh, that already happened. So what's happening now is this little orange light 
is now flashing. Uh, it's turning on for half a second and off for ha half a second, and we made it do that with our code. Um, to make this easier to see, I have uh, an actual LED here that I can plug directly into this board uh, to illuminate this. So I'm going to plug this in, um, the long end into pin 13, and the short end next to the ground that's uh, the ground pin that's right next to it. So there's a one pin labeled 13, and right next to it there's a pin labeled G and D. So if you have an LED, which I know you do, uh, the long end goes into 13, the short end goes into G and D. I'm just going to insert that right there. And as I do, oops, saw it light up. There it goes. It's blinking on and off uh, once per second. So on a second, off a second, on a second, off a second, or half a second, really. Um, this is the most basic Arduino project that you can do. Um, and I suggest, once you have this written, you don't just leave it at this. I like to mess around with things to see what I can do. So let's see what happens if I change this to 100 milliseconds and 100 milliseconds. And now I'm going to compile and upload it. And you'll see it stops running while it's uploading. And then, there we go, it flashes a lot faster. So, you can kind of see that. Um, maybe I can do something else, such as I want this thing to be on one millisecond, or 100 milliseconds, and I want it to be off for 900 milliseconds. So let's see what happens when we do that. You'll see it just blinks for a tenth of a second once every second. So um, the point I wanted to get across is that you can control what happens in the real world, in the physical world here, by the code that you wrote, excuse me, over there. <laughs> so this code is controlling this device. Um, I think I'll leave it. Uh, up to you for today. If you want an easier way of running this program, you can just go to File, Examples, Basics, Blink, and uh, run and compile the code from here. You'll see it's very similar to what I wrote, except I think it uses different numbers. So yeah, it uses a thousand rather than five hundred. So on a second and off a second. Um, from here you can just compile this and send it there. Uh, but anytime you use one of these examples, I highly recommend that you go in and you change the code a little bit to see if you can make it do something that it didn't do before. Um, that's the fun of playing with things. That's the fun of learning how this stuff works, both on the hardware side and on the software side. So um, put this together. Uh, see if you can get your, your LED blinking. And uh, email me if you have any problems, because I'll be here to help and make a video clarifying things if you need it. All right, thanks. Uh, I'll see you guys later.